Ukrainian military officials have distanced themselves from Ryan Wesley Routh, a man detained in connection with an apparent assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. A 58-year-old construction company owner from Hawaii, Ryan Wesley Routh, has been linked by Russian propaganda to Ukraine, but investigations point to his mental instability as the key factor. Though he briefly visited Ukraine and expressed support for the country, the Ukrainian Foreign Legion distanced itself from him due to his lack of military experience and bizarre behavior. The 12th National Guard, Azov Brigade, stated he has nothing to do with our brigade, while Ukraine's Land Forces Command, Foreign Legion, described his communications as containing delusional ideas, according to CNN. He was offering us large numbers of recruits from different countries, but it was obvious to us his offers were not realistic. We didn't even answer. There was nothing to answer to, Alexander Shaguri, an officer from the Foreign Legion, told CNN. Evelyn Afchenbrenner, a former recruiter for Ukraine's International Legion, described Routh as having delusions of grandeur, according to CNN. Despite warnings, Afchenbrenner reported that Routh attempted to bypass official channels for bringing foreign fighters into Ukraine. In August 2022, for Ukraine's Independence Day, there was a high security risk with curfews in place in Kharkiv and other cities, and Routh messaged me asking to get some random person over the border, and he sent me this poor woman's passport, Ashchen Brenner told CNN. While Routh expressed willingness to die for Ukraine in social media posts and attempted to recruit fighters, including Afghan conscripts, Ukrainian officials maintain he was never officially part of any military unit. He had visited Ukraine in 2022 following Russia's full-scale invasion, attending rallies in support of Ukrainian troops in Kyiv. In a video from April 2022, Routh called Russian President Vladimir Putin a terrorist and urged global support for Ukraine. Routh was detained following an incident at Trump's Florida Golf Club that the FBI is investigating as a potential assassination attempt. This comes just two months after another attempt on Trump's life at a Pennsylvania rally. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that, over a hundred battles, have taken place since Monday morning, with the most intense fighting in the Kurakov and Pokrovsk directions. Zelensky also spoke about an, in-death report from our intelligence services on the situation in the ranks of the occupying army, the situation on Russian territory, adding that, the perception of the war in Russia is deteriorating, as is the public's view of the results of Putin's policies. We are working to ensure that reality ultimately overcomes Russian state propaganda," he said in his nightly address. Over the weekend Ukraine made a new call on the West to allow it to strike deeper into Russia after a meeting between US and British leaders a day earlier produced no visible shift in their policy on the use of long-range weapons. At least 41 people were wounded Sunday afternoon when a Russian aerial bomb struck a multi-story residential building in Kharkiv, Mayor Iyer Terekov said, adding that the guided bomb hit the 10th floor of the building, with the fire spreading across four stories. Twelve other buildings were also damaged, he said. Residents looked on as firefighters tackled a blaze high up in the multi-story building. One affected resident, Victor, said, I have no apartment, everything is burning. He continued, everything is burned, everything is on fire, everything is destroyed. Now, I am as I am. I have nothing left. Another resident, Tedana, recounted the moment the strike hit. I was shocked. I got up, got dressed. People started screaming, and I went outside, 
she said. Meanwhile, two people died in a missile attack on the Ukrainian Black Sea port city of Odessa, local officials said, as Moscow and Kiev exchanged drone and missile attacks. The Ukrainian Air Force said Sunday it shot down 10 of the 14 drones and one of the three missiles Russia launched overnight. Thank you.